Members of Britain's House of Lords have inflicted an embarrassing defeat on the government of Prime Minister Theresa May by voting against her flagship Brexit legislation, the European Union Withdrawal Bill, also known as the Repeal Bill. Peers on Wednesday voted by 348 to 225 in favour of remaining in a customs union with the bloc after Brexit. Lords approved several amendments backing continued membership of the UK EU customs union and protecting people's rights after Brexit. The May government has argued that remaining in the customs union would bar Britain from signing third-party trade agreements with other countries. Wednesday's defeat is embarrassing for the government, which is trying hard to get the withdrawal bill passed from the parliament in time to prepare for Britain's exit for the EU next year. The Labour Party, the Liberal Democrats, crossbenchers and backbench Tories voted in favour of the amendments requiring ministers to report on steps to negotiate a continued union. Lord Kerr of Kinlockard said that there was a need to try to limit the damage of Britain leaving its largest market. The country voted narrowly to leave the European Union, but no one can argue that it voted knowingly to leave the customs union with the European Union, he stated. But Brexit Minister Lord Callanan said Downing Street did not support the measures, as it would require the government to report on the steps taken towards an objective it has clearly ruled out. However, Labour Sir Keir Starmer said the move was an important step forward. Theresa May must now listen to the growing chorus of voices who are urging her to drop her red line on a customs union and rethink her approach, he added. Liberal Democrat leader in the House of Lords, Lord Newby, said, This is a hugely significant moment. The House of Lords has come together to show the government that remaining in a customs union is key to the UK's future prosperity. Securing this win on a cross-party basis rams home how. Out of touch the government have been on this issue, and that they drastically need to change tack from the destructive hard Brexit they are pursuing. Prime Minister May has admitted that there are hard facts. Britain should be ready to face about the economic consequences of leaving the EU. She has said the UK would leave the EU's single market and customs union after Brexit in March 2019, noting the country may suffer new trade barriers as a result of her move. May has also said that any customs union deal with the EU would keep London from striking new trade deals with fast-growing economies like China and India. In Britain's 2016 referendum, 52%, or 17.4 million people, voted to leave the EU while 48%, or 16 million, voted to stay. May insists Britain will leave the EU as planned and there will be no rerun of the Brexit referendum.